Lozen, the Apache female warrior who struck fear into European invaders. You know how people often say that women are weaker and can't handle their emotions or tough situations as well as men? Right. And so when a woman defies those stereotypes and goes above and beyond to do something extraordinary, it becomes an absolutely amazing moment in history. It's like leaving a beautiful mark that can't be ignored. Lozen was a very positive and strong force to reckon with. She was a remarkable figure. A courageous Apache woman who stood strong, fought fiercely, and devoted herself to the safety of her people. At the tender age of seven, she was already recognized as one of the most talented riders of her time. Imagine riding like the wind, swift and agile, even at such a young age. This incredible woman was not just a warrior, but also a shaman and humanitarian. For three decades, she valiantly fought against both Mexican and American forces, earning herself the well-deserved nickname of Apache Joan of Arc. Her determination to defend her people knew no bounds. Lozen also possessed a unique ability to move unnoticed across enemy lines. As an expert horse rider and a sharpshooter, she could fearlessly snatch horses from the hands of the opposition. She could even walk past you this minute and you wouldn't know she just did. Such a wonder. And of course, she wasn't a ghost, just a fearless woman with abilities that went beyond the physical realm. But there's more to Lozen's story than just her extraordinary skills on horseback and in the battlefield. So, join us as we delve into the inspiring journey of the life of Lozen and how she captured the hearts of people with her uniqueness. How it all began. Lozen is an incredible woman. Born around 1840 into the Chiheni Apache Band near Ojo Caliente, New Mexico. At this time, there were several Apache bands and numerous clans spread out across a vast area known as Epicheria which covered parts of northern Mexico, eastern Arizona, and southwestern New Mexico, also known as the Eastern Chirichua, or the Red Paint People. They earned their name from the red clay they applied to their faces during ceremonies. They were notorious for raiding, and they frequently engaged in conflicts with one another. According to Joey Padilla, a medicine man and museum curator at the Mescalero Apache Reservation in New Mexico, the Apache people were traditionally nomadic, never settling down in a single location for a long time. It was from a tribe like this that Lozen came from. At the tender age of 12, Lozen underwent a rite of passage, marking her transition into womanhood. Call it resilience or what have you. But she grew up deciding not to be like the ordinary Apache woman whose major task was to cook, sew, and look after the home. Lozen, whose name means dexterous horse thief, acquired her name due to her remarkable skill of sneaking behind enemy lines without being noticed, rounding up horses and making off with them. Her ability to move silently and her courage became highly valued during a time when conflicts were nearly constant. As she reached adulthood, Lozen began fighting against Mexican soldiers and scalp hunters who were considered the eternal enemies of her band. Even after the arrival of the Americans in 1849, claiming her homeland, she continued to battle against them as well. The Warrior Spirit Unleashed Back in the day, being a warrior woman was no small feat. Among the Apache people, there was always a formidable woman right behind the man, armed with a knife or gun. If the man ever fell, you didn't just have to deal with him, but also face the fierce strength of the women. But that was just it. After the rescue, the women were expected back at home to fix their domestic chores. Life was a very beautiful ride for her until one day, her band got ambushed by a group of Mexicans. It turns out these Mexicans tricked the Apache people by offering them all these wonderful gifts and luring them into their territory. But as soon as the Apache arrived, they started shooting at them. Luckily, Lozen and her brother Victorio managed to escape, but sadly, many Apache men, women, and children who were there didn't make it out alive. It was a really tragic and devastating attack. The aftermath of this incident unleashed the warrior spirit in Lozen, and she resolved to live her life for her people, so she began a journey to seek help. During this solitary journey, she went into the mountains, where she gained an extraordinary supernatural ability to locate her enemies. Harlan Geronimo, the great-grandson of the legendary Geronimo, shared that Lozen would raise her hands and gracefully walk in a circle until the veins in her arms turned a deep shade of blue. This extraordinary sign indicated the direction from which the enemy would approach, granting her a unique advantage in battle. According to the people of Apache, 
she was compared to a deity known as White Painted Woman. So, back in 1861, there was this Chirichahu chief named Cochise, part of the Chokonin tribe. Unfortunately, he got caught up in a terrible misunderstanding when he was wrongly accused of kidnapping a rancher's son. This accusation sparked a whole series of conflicts that dragged on for a whopping 24 years between the United States and various Apache nations. Now let's fast forward to 1862. Still in the conflict that sparked, Cochise, along with another chief, bravely led around 200 warriors into battle at Apache Pass. They were determined to defend their homeland, but things didn't go as planned. The powerful Apache people forced them to retreat and scatter. But then, the story doesn't end there. In the midst of this chaos came the remarkable figure named Lozen. She fought alongside Cochise at Apache Pass and proved her valor as a warrior. Her skills and dedication earned her a spot in the council, where she continued to fight alongside her brother Victorio for many years. Lozen had quite the adventurous spirit. Aside from the battle at Apache Pass, she was believed to have participated in a daring horse raid at Fort Craig, where Apache warriors armed with their trusty bows and arrows boldly took horses from the soldiers. In 1869, she joined Victorio and other Apache leaders in a meeting to negotiate a reservation at Ojo Caliente. Unfortunately, things didn't go their way, and instead of a better situation, they were relocated to the harsh conditions of the San Carlos Reservation in Arizona. The year 1877 marked a turning point for Victorio, Lozen, and their Chiheni comrades. They made the daring decision to escape from San Carlos, choosing to wage war rather than surrender. To avoid capture, they split up and scattered. During this time, Lozen showed incredible bravery and determination. In a particularly memorable incident, she guided a group of women and children, risking their lives across the treacherous Rio Grande River into Mexico. James K. Wakela, who was just a child at the time, vividly remembered the scene. He described Lozen as a magnificent woman, riding on a beautiful horse with a rifle raised high above her head. After successfully reaching Mexico, Lozen didn't rest. Despite the cold and wet conditions, she crossed back over the Rio Grande and returned to the fight. At one point, Lozen left the group to help a young pregnant woman who needed to reunite with her family on the Mescalero Apache Reservation. Armed with only a rifle, a cartridge belt, a knife, and a three-day supply of food, she ventured into the challenging Chihuahuan Desert in Mexico. Along the way, she not only ensured the safety of the mother, but also helped deliver the baby. Talk about incredible resourcefulness. As if that wasn't enough, she even managed to kill and butcher a longhorn cow and capture two horses to help them through their journey. A tragic end. Sadly, during the course of moving from place to place, Victorio, Lozen's brother, met a tragic end at Tres Castillos, where many other Apaches lost their lives too. He was ambushed and murdered. After Victorio passed away, Lozen became a steadfast companion of Geronimo. In the year 1882, she fearlessly rode by his side during a daring raid, liberating a staggering 600 individuals from the clutches of San Carlos. Showing unwavering loyalty, she supported him once again in 1885, when he made his final escape from the oppressive reservation. According to Geronimo's descendants, it was a difficult decision for him to surrender in 1886, but he chose to do so in order to safeguard the well-being of his remaining followers. Following their surrender, both Lozen and Geronimo, along with numerous others, were transported to prisons in Florida. Sadly, Lozen suffered tuberculosis while she was still in prison. All efforts to make her survive was futile, and at age 50, she breathed her last breath in Alabama. However, some of her relatives were later released, and they managed to return to the Western lands. To date, Lozen's memory lives on, and truly, she'll never be forgotten.